In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us now ask God for his mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most previous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. The message of the truth has reached you and is spreading all over the world. From Paul, appointed by God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus, and from our brother Timothy to the saints of Colossus, our faithful brothers in Christ, grace and peace to you from God our Father. We have never failed to remember you in our prayers and to give thanks for you to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, ever since we heard about your faith in Christ and the love that you show towards all the saints because of the hope which is stored up for you in heaven. It is only recently that you heard of this when it was announced in the message of the truth the good news which has reached you in spreading all over the world and producing the same results as it has among you ever since the day when you heard about God's grace and understood what this really is. Epaphras, who taught you, is one of our closest fellow workers and a faithful deputy for us as Christ's servant. And it was he who told us all about your love in the spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I am like a growling, a growing olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I will thank you evermore for this is your doing. I will proclaim that your name is good in the presence of your friends. 
I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. Alleluia, alleluia. remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait on them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him. And laying his hands on each, he cured them. Devils too came out of many people, howling, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked, rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. When daylight came, he left the house and made his way to the lonely place. The crowds went to look for him. And when they caught up with him, they wanted to prevent him from him leaving them. But he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too, because that is what I was sent to do. And he continued his preaching in the synagogues of Judea. This is the gospel of the Lord. My friends, as we stand here today looking at the beautiful statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, I suppose one thing we have to keep in mind is that there is a bigger picture. First of all, Mary was the daughter of Joachim and Anna. They taught her her faith. They handed it on to her. Mary, in turn, passed the faith on to Jesus Christ, our son. Now, we are in a generation where people fear that the faith is not being passed on. And it is a very sincere fear because things aren't the way they used to be. But I suppose in that bigger picture, we must remember that the prayers that we offer here today, the little gifts that we bring home to people, in all of these things, we are doing what we can to pass on the faith to the next generation. We can do our part, but we must trust then that God will do his part. I suppose the big problem is we have to wait. When the time is right, that is when God will do his part. Look at the history of Fatima. It wasn't until when he wanted to that he sent Mary here. So let's pray today for a great trust in the plan of God. That as we make our efforts to hand on the faith to the next generation, that trusting in God's plan that he will bring all things to fulfillment that that will really have a part in our hearts as we make our prayers here today. Celebrating the marvels which God perfected in the mother of Jesus and our mother, we humbly lift up our hearts to him imploring the intercession of Mary, the health of the sick. For the Holy Church, that she receive and proclaim the word of God, and in the sacrament of anointing of the sick, be a sign of salvation and hope for, all, for the infirmed, we pray to the Lord. Lord 
for all Christians that imitating Mary, they, they dedicate themselves with diligence in serving one another. We pray to the Lord. For those who suffer in body and in spirit, that they experience the maternal presence of Mary, consoler of the afflicted, we pray to the Lord. For all confined in hospital, that they may be cared for with humanity and affection and concern, we pray to the Lord. For all our communities, that they discover the profound value of the mystery of redemption which is manifested in those who suffer, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For us here present, for those in our families who are ill, that through the intercession of Mary, they may obtain perfect health of soul and body, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let's take a moment now to bring to the Lord any special prayers that are in our hearts today. Lord, hear us. Almighty God, full of goodness and mercy, you were pleased with Mary's willingness to become the mother of your son, and you taught her to be continuously at the service of those in need. Give us the grace to imitate her in every moment of our life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Is nefa, nefa, nefa who? A hero dear Naslu, Tanya Vagastalov, land of the glory, Hosanna Snohorda, 
You were indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may, be, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech your Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, if you have the Jubilee Prayer of Consecration, we will pray that together now, and the clergy will face the statue. Jubilee Prayer of Consecration. Hail, Mother of the Lord, Virgin Mary, Queen of the Rosary of Fatima, blessed among all women, you are the image of the church dressed in the paschal light. You are the honor of our people. You are the triumph over the mark of evil. Prophecy of the merciful love of the Father, teacher of the annunciation of the good news of the Son, sign of the burning fire of the Holy Spirit. Teach us in this valley of joys and sorrows the eternal truths that the Father reveals to the little ones. Show us the strength of your mantle of protection. In your immaculate heart be the refuge of sinners and the way that leads to God. In unity with my brethren, in faith, hope and love, I surrender myself to you. In unity with my brethren, through you I consecrate myself to God. O Virgin of the Rosary of Fatima, and thus surrounded by the light that comes from your hands, I will give glory to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So we now have the blessing of any religious objects that you may have brought with you today to this Mass. If you wish, you can hold them up for the blessing. Almighty God, we pray that you bless these religious objects which have been brought here today for blessing. Just as Mary was given the good news of Jesus Christ, our Lord, may these religious objects remind people of the good news of Jesus Christ. We ask you, Lord, to bless them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord send his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May God give to you and those who are dear to you his peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Oh, come to the throne of grace. Our Lady of Fatima, hey.